The Access 2010 Contacts web database enables you to quickly start tracking information about colleagues, family, or friends. The term web database means it's compatible with the new web publishing feature of Access 2010. More about that later. The Getting Started page is a great place to learn about the database and to get help. It's always available on the far right navigation tab, so I can come back to this page at any time. On the Address Book tab, I can add new contacts, view or edit existing contacts, and add comments about my interactions with each contact. As you can see, I've already entered some records in this form. To enter a new contact, I just click Add New, and then fill in the information that I have. If I have a picture or document that I want to attach to this record, I can double-click the Attachments field and then add the files I want. When I'm finished, I can click Save and New if I want to add another contact, but I'll just click Save and Close. The new contact now appears in the contact list. To view a contact, I just click the contact's name. I can add comments to each contact so that I have a record of interactions to refer to later. Access adds the date and time to each new comment. The Edit Details button opens the Contact Details form so I can edit data as needed. The Contacts template also includes a datasheet view where I can make quick edits to multiple records. For example, if I have several contacts that work for the same company, and the name of the company changes, I can quickly edit all of the affected contacts in this view. I can apply a filter by clicking a column heading and then selecting the values I want to see. Tailspin Toys changed its name, so I'm changing all of the affected contacts here. I can also add new contacts on this form, either by typing them directly into the last row of the datasheet, or I can click New Contact, or the word New in the datasheet, and enter them into the Contact Details form. Now I'll remove the company filter. Clicking the ID hyperlink at the start of each row opens the Contact Details form, where I can view and edit the details of the contact. Alternatively, I can double-click the first or last name to open the Details form. I can search for a contact by entering fragments of text in the search box and then clicking the search button. Access searches through all the contact information for the text that I enter. To clear the search, delete the text in the search box and then click the search button. Now let's take a look at the report center. The contacts template includes five reports to get started with. To preview a report, I just click the report name and it appears in the preview pane. To open the report for printing, I click Open in New Tab, and then use the Print command on the File tab. When I'm finished printing the report, I click Close, and return to the Report Center. This template is designed to be compatible with the Publish to Access Services feature. I have a SharePoint server that is running Access Services, so I can publish the contacts template to the server. Then other people can use the application in a web browser without needing access installed on their computer. I can also create the contacts database directly from the server. On the SharePoint site, I click Create, and then Contacts Web Database. I type a title and URL, and then click Create. Access creates the database on the server, after which I can open it in Access for further modification.